Okay, I just did video recorded uh, a day to go. A uh, video about Mark Tyson, Lennox Lewis, Golota, and so on. Uh, good stuff, but I might have half missed the most important part in this video. Uh, it's actually video I'm referring to is this one here it was posted on August the 12th 2021 worth seeing this video if especially if you like if you're in boxing or whatever uh, it's interesting video um, the stuff I missed in this video yeah this is actually much more than just about boxing and explains a lot about certain people the most important stuff about this video however I left out the stuff was uh, extremely political and he goes to this individual here his name is Andre Duda president of Poland now Morawiecki and um, these two guys, a top Polish politicians, were mentored by this man here. And his brother, Kaczynski brothers. The Kaczynski brothers were. Well, they were also involved in Mafia and uh, all kinds of stuff, but they did have very, very strong, I think, dirty, I don't even know. If racist, they definitely displayed racist tendencies heavily, involving also Andrzej Duda, Morawiecki, Vladimir Putin, a whole Russian crew. Uh, but this man right here, his name is Valenza. Maybe it was even more corrupt. I don't know which one of these people was more corrupt. Which which one of this was more criminal? I don't have idea. This is a fake, a bit fake communist. This guy has with the communists as much as I have with the last year snow. Uh, this is a con man. This is a Polish con man professional con artist um, who extorted through Slovenian politicians the right to torture uh, for Polish government to do with me pretty much wherever they wanted by claiming that I was a prejudiced a racial, imagine this shit, a, a racial prejudice against him that I insulted him based on his looks and stuff like that. He involved in MKUltra already in 1995 along uh, not as much as involved but what soon became a Polish, a new Polish president and so on. These were the people which on a surface they will even give you an idea about being a communist uh, actually he would the guys I mentioned earlier absolutely not that was like affiliated even with the Catholic Church even these people had just as I earlier mentioned nothing to do with any kind of church this is more like a mafia they were involved with a mafia and all kinds of now the biggest mafia of these guys you see here came across is this guy don't know exactly what what was recorded because somebody paused me again um yeah because of ivana trump you know, let me see if i get this and myself um who had a lot of points in Berlin, London, it was all about geopolitical relations, and this guy was like 
ahead of others because of business, because of uh, involvement with Hollywood. Reality TV was his specialty, but bats, boxing, that kind of world of Donald Trump. So, this is important to understand because a little earlier, guys, these guys were always correct. You know, he accused me of being racist. I'm Slovenian, and this guy somehow looks blonde, but I understand that I was a prejudiced, a racist against him. Later on, he apologized for lies, by the way. He admitted that he lied. The question here is why he lied. The question not is why he lied. They lied about everything. As much as they claimed they were not racists, they built a career, a future. I just as I mentioned earlier, mafia, you know, mafia related people like a gangster related people. They got me, they literally got me. This guy was one of the first thieves in Poland. He got a hold of property, I think it was from the church, public, whatever it was, for like, I don't even know, maybe quarter price or whatever, gift. Mafia more than anything, but also prejudice that display the hatred not only against uh, black people but their target was the main target the main target was money the second target was also not even such a racialism but literally like pro putinist view you know like they would not even get along they wouldn't get along not even with they don't like their women a look at a look americans i was a target uh anything that looked different from like typical russian it was just unacceptable for them it was unacceptable that's what took golota into a total madness I think it was year 2000 when Mike Tyson knocked him out. That's when I got, I don't know how many threats and uh, by the way this Andre Gorota was a total schizophrenic. Threatened me. Uh, worse, not because only I like his lady, but I think she liked me and it was a fucking madness. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's what these people wanted from me was not a such a bad racist you know I was not such a bad racist because as long as these people would make money with me these people literally these Polish politicians literally in charge me and I mean literally in charge me to become just like Don King was literally a promoter for Golota this guy this, I, did, I don't even say something. Th th this individual here, Andrew Gorota, Andre Gorota, is from Warsaw, Poland. Uh, one of the dirtiest possible anyone possibly could come across. I mean, I did not like this guy here that you see. This guy, I wished for I could kick his ass. As much as I possibly could this is this is a worm I don't have the words for this guy but this was a boss of I don't know, like to say a Riddick Bowl maybe he was the one who made him look crazy I don't know a Riddick Bowl was a bully you know Riddick Bowl was not really a nice person I don't know about the Riddick Bowl maybe Riddick Bowl the Riddick Bowl I don't know what Tyson did to me was very bad, but you know, Riddick Bowe was a guy that was just constantly looking for the problems. 
when he would come to Poland to solicit and he would get in you know all kinds of arguments and stupid shit and so did not like me I did not like him you had not only a chance to become a racist here in Poland I mean not only a chance you had a reason to become a racist because of people like Riddick Bolt for one thing and the second thing even better it gets fuck the Polish politicians claimed this guy here owes me a money they fucking own they they claim this guy owes you a commission because of the fights you managed to solicit for him Andrew Goliath's career was a uh, nowhere till I literally popped up on a scene drugged up and I did not know anything what the fuck I was doing no no I did not know three shit about really what the hell I was doing but I'm gonna tell you when they told me that that I can be a racist in Poland and actually have no problem with it it's actually desired for me to be a racist help Andre Golata to make money I was relieved because Pol Poland only was one thing it was all about the death threats the same like if I was taken to Serbia Bosnia it was nothing but death threats it's, it's, it's like a country that I wasn't sure was it a fucking Russia Putin I was dealing with or I was dealing with the Pollocks um, I was not impressed either way I didn't like him I didn't like them I don't like these people at all um, I felt being discriminated against because I was Slovenian on top of that I felt that these Pollocks are some kind of from day one when I was brought to Poland I felt that they maybe yeah I was confused but I'm not sure if I was confused confused about this issue they didn't like me maybe because I'm Slovenian or something like that they kind of look like Americans more to tell you the truth and I wasn't impressed the way Americans treated me in the US I didn't like this MK Ultra bullshit not even a little bit so who was against whom frankly I didn't even know you know I basically hit whenever wherever I had to to seal my scars emotional abuse that went on I wouldn't bend in front of anybody I uh, did make a lot of crazy uh, stuff but it came on in a long term that the people the, the people who were not drugged up like I was were fucking crazier than I was no no seriously you have no idea about this trainer of this new one this boss from Reddick and Reddick alone this is stupid man you dealing with a drugged up fucking dead drugged up person and you my, you don't only take him seriously you you, you um, I don't understand why did they uh, took me so seriously at all what what happened with this shit what happened with these people man and these people what Lennox Lewis demonstrated but I didn't even know who Lennox Lewis was in Poland that's how crazy I fucking was so fucking crazy when Lennox Lewis would come to Miami Lennox Lewis was my soulmate. No, 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 this shit is real. I, uh, I, I was envious of anybody that would uh, disturb the relationship between me and Lennox Lewis. No, almost. Uh, no, that's not true. The ladies, I did not resent it. Um, I'm, uh, I don't know. Maybe I even destroyed one for him or something like that. I have no idea. Um, uh, the, his wife I liked her but uh, she was afraid of me because of uh, maybe really 
I don't know what happened with one. Maybe uh, she claimed that I did something to 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 one, but I don't think that was that had to do with the Lennox Lewis. Really not. I really wanted nothing but the best for Lennox Lewis, and she was a good catch. And I had no reason to, you know. But I had some crazy reputation. Now, how crazy was this shit? It was so crazy that Lennox Lewis, when he would come to Poland, he he wouldn't even talk to me because, according to his views, according to what he estimated me to be like, uh, I, I acted completely insane. And as I earlier explained, I had more than just reason to act insane. I had to survive somehow. If they wanted this shit, this racial shit to go on for the bets, for the cash, for the money, because Donald Trump was the main boss for these games, he would bring other party to the table and then they would use me to steer this shit. And then there was a bidding. Lance Lewis figured out that I didn't fucking know. Even, and I did not. I was like, I don't understand why. I don't even understand what happened. No, I had no idea till this evening when I watched this fight here that you, I'm gonna demonstrate here. This fight here, this, um, Reddick. Andrew Gaza um, and then this year Andrew Gaza and Lennox Lewis um, to tell you honestly uh, in Poland that I have no idea I'm actually asking myself what how I think they were using it badly to steer the racial shit there probably was. Uh, it was stuff that went on. And in the midst of this, they were collecting bets, money, cash. There was no end to dirty play. I would go out there and insult uh, people. Um, and then, of course, I would get good job. That was from Donald Trump from and from this Pollux too. It was like this all the way to, I think it was, I don't know, 2000 or whatever year, when a Tyson hit Golota so badly uh, that he really cried like a baby inside the ring, just like uh, Lennox Lewis did with the Tyson. Then, when Golota got hurt, um, it was, I, I don't know what hurt him more, whether it was the loss or maybe that this reputation that Americans got, the Westerns got from the Polish ladies, I think it was a lot of envy, um, they liked Americans, they liked me and I, I got into frequent spites because it was so beautiful ladies and bullshit you know never nothing uh this is just a real story this is just the way it is account about mk ultra while being drugged up that's what uh got fight to golota the tyson's fight because it was it was about it wasn't even it, it, it was just about the hatred it didn't really matter what kind of hatred it just whatever brought money to the table basically now, i was uh, more popular much higher rated than don king as a promoter because i steered the shit into the stuff that you have seen have happened then with these matches and I, the, the worst part about it is I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. 
I didn't know what I was doing. Anyhow, watching these two matches and just heading down uh, for a walk, for a morning walk, I realized, man, I said, so, so this, I said, so, so he was the one, he was the one, I said, he must have been the one, because it was on a few occasions that it was this black dude that would come, and I want to know this guy, who is this guy, who is this guy, so that means that I was completely fucked up on these drugs, uh, who is this guy? You know, who, who is this guy? What is this guy? Uh, I wanted to know who is this guy. It's nothing that did make sense about Lennox Lewis, that I would not even know who is this guy, you know, who Lennox was. That's crazy. And Lennox realized that this is just not, this is not me. So he realized that something shitty going on about Poland, that something, 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 something really bad going on. So, when he, whenever he would come, he would not spend no time talking to me, anything. They, tell, they told him he was Lennox Lewis, a real Lennox Lewis. Talk to him, talk to him. No, no, Lennox Lewis was just really polite. So educated, so completely opposite, let's say, of Reddit Bow. Then I'm not going to even go this crazy fucking Paul Newman. That's... The trainer from Reddit Bow, that was crazy, man. That, what a mess. Um, he was just so polite that he would not want. I think he was hurt seeing me like this. I think he didn't like this. He didn't like it at all, man. He was, it was confusing to him. But he, he would come. He would get his deal and go, because it was crazy, man. Crazy shit. Anyhow, one time I understand, and I don't even know why, I have no idea what happened, but I heard that uh, there was somebody that they, that they wanted to bully, they're going to bully some black guy or something, I don't know, and I think it was Lennox Lewis probably that had bitten up, I don't know, too. If it's true or not, I have not seen it. But it was a big circus about, they talked about it, uh, they got bitten up. Um, and uh, I, I might have been in proximity because it was something like, is there like as anybody else that wants whatever? <laughs> have I seen this shit? No, I've not seen it. Maybe it's real, maybe it's not, but it was something like this. Because I know. Unless it was a setup, but that must have been a good one. Uh, but yeah, Buckingham Palace did a lot of setups. Uh, it was that um, the Buckingham Palace Londoners supported Lennox Lewis. They were on his side that uh, he did the right thing, that this is the way it is. That, 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 that. So it must have been then Lennox Lewis that something happened, that they tried to do something to him. And um, what what can I tell you? Did you watch these fights here if you want to see it, this stuff here? This was maybe the first fight, maybe for the Golota that he make like money, Reddit Bow Golota. Uh, I didn't like to tell you the truth. This this Reddit Bow was this is this was a total idiot this was a to this was a racist aggressive too from beginning to the end he was looking into racism he was just looking he was picking up on racism because maybe he wanted to make a money i don't even know if he was so racist i know about tyson it's like really racist but i don't know about ready bow i don't know i think he was more in it that he was fishing for money I don't, maybe he was actually even not, I have no idea, but he did act racist, he acted aggressive, he insulted, and I returned back, and it was about white and this and that, and fuck, it was not, who cares, um, and Andrew Golata, you know, Andrew Golata that got his fight, and knocked on his ass, Golata through me scored more fights than just with Riddick Bow. 
uh, he started to collect money and I really do think that Golota actually collected cash uh, for these guys here, for these cats here, for these fat cats, for these politicians, Polish politicians. I think they collected really good. And because he was so good, Golota, he was so good, um, according to uh, the Russians to the KGB is that, that uh, it's like a Russian and he was just like looking for some kind of identity and then he connected himself mentally to the Russians and to the Ivan Drago to this movie um, very time consuming but somebody made it again and stopped me uh, this guy was all of the above I think but I think he had a real problem with identity um, nice to see him next to his wife whether she became his wife or already was his wife I don't know but I want to say whether it was for her dad or most likely it was his father he saved my life because in 2000 when Mike Tyson landed him on an ass this guy I was in his house in Poland, this guy, I felt like he's gonna fucking kill me. Uh, he he completely lost it. He drink and drink and drink. He was like drowning in alcohol. And when I started to look, either was his wife or his wife to become. She liked me too. Uh, the things went really, really in a wrong direction. Okay, then we didn't see each other so much anymore. Um, never got the commission instead of commission even Andrzej Duda promised me that that uh, that uh, no nah, that was a little humorous that he's gonna fight me and that he's gonna fix the fight between Golota and me and stuff like this um Golota apparently went broke his agency whatever he had he was not really a very good businessman uh, was either the king money or he might have owned more and more money to these guys here to this Ivan Dragos here that you have seen to this big kahunas here from Poland you know we will not even know about these people what really goes on but this is like something like this guy whose name is Borut Pacho you know uh, this politicians I feel these politicians, uh, including this guy here, are fixers, game fixers. They push the sport people that I think not only they like it, that they get favors from the sport people before they even get chance. But I think that on the side, these people actually co collect money, a bribe, I would say that's what I sincerely think this is a Slovenian president Borut Pahl I think it's all kinds of stuff going on with these people I could set quite a few situations in respect to this guy that involves sports people which collected a lot of money or it was a careers that open for them and based even on their physical looks basically is a prejudice against his own Slovenian people for what he think good or bad um, I don't give a shit I am Slovenian I am proud I like my people the way they look it's too damn bad that we have people here that made our people even to give up a sports career that should be theirs according to their abilities and give them give advantage to others because of what this individual and like-minded convinced them to do this is reality in Slovenia so now you know about this part here too 
Um, I think it was once. That's why I even more know that it was a Lennox Lewis that would be coming. That that I uh, that they reminded me who he was, and I wanted to talk to him because it opened to me, and he would not talk to me. Uh, he would just say to me later in Miami. And when uh, what what exactly was later in Miami? <laughs> this is like you go and you change the channel you watch on a TV. You're watching something, click, and it's against something. You're against something. I or you, let's say that you you watch something on a TV. You click. And all of a sudden you're you're from let's say a tennis match or whatever all of a sudden you're you're in some kind of a movie set something some of the wild west or something like that that's how the mk outro was that's exactly what it was why it was this kind of shit? <laughs> um there is a lot to discuss even the drugs mm, Electroshocks, that was something that Arnold Schwarzenegger demonstrated to me well. Not only explained to me, and I did experience them to know enough that they were electroshocks, but drugs alone, which they used, became more and more sophisticated, what I was told. And the job of these drugs was to actually leave a very, very, very little trace little trace in what actually in a human being is per what exactly went on it was just enough for human being to demonstrate his vital functions basically respond like with a highly highly reduced IQ it was guided actually like perform like almost like a robot basically like a robotic way that's what that was about the Lennox Lewis that I wanted to clarify about this stuff. Lennox Lewis was in Poland and I became a literally a promoter of this fight. Uh, getting in uh, professional boxers faces and instigate fights also based on a racial differences I would say even that's how far this shit went on Thank you. a good job the more the two the more the guys killed each other in the ring the more money they collected the crazier it was the more the more it was good good boy good boy and uh, they deal the money on the site which I never saw a fucking dime. These people in the game to get rid of me. These boys were in the game. They had a lot of reasons to get rid of me. A lot, a lot of reasons to get rid of me. This is, I don't know what kind of category all this stuff goes in. I don't know. You guys have to yet invent something because Epstein was in this MKO tool, but this is nothing like Epstein and this this stuff this stuff is going like really really deep in 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 issues as per basically what went on but it's real it's it's what right now I know uh, a lot of this American sports journalists from CNN from New York Times from God knows where are doing like this because it's it's something that back then for them it was like yeah you will have to do all this but you know you're gonna have to tell all this you know tell all fucking what i mean i didn't even know what they were talking about um i never had any intention to talk about any of it man all i wanted to do is have a normal life disappear escape whatever it would take avoid do I have anything to do? Nobody would want to go inside of the mental hospital. They did, boy. They they tried to get rid of me a lot. So there you have it. This is now exactly what happened. Exactly the way the way how it happened. Yeah. 
Now in the end, eventually, no, eventually, in the end, and that's a karma, it's a really, really karma. Rock Newman, it's not Paul Newman, Rock Newman stole him what, 15 million dollars. That's what you got in a final stage, Mr. Reddick Ball. That's what he got in the end as a pay. Um, maybe Reddick Ball was not even a bad guy. You know, I, I think that, uh, I don't know, but Riddick Ball was very, he had answer for everything, too many answers, he was quite aggressive really, um, yeah, the way he had a contact, the way he carried himself out, this guy instigated in racism, I don't know, maybe it was so racially charged environment, I wasn't the only guy there, uh, that went beyond, you know, blue, everything away I have no idea it was that he responded that maybe he maybe that's what he was after but Don King in 1995 before everything even started along Mike Tyson they they pretty much created the rule rules for this game and this was from beginning to the end, it was just some kind of racialism charged with a hatred uh, involving as many as possible lies. That kind would lay on me one after another, so the truth would just float away from the shore, from the truth, as far, as far as possible. When he felt comfortable along Dwayne Johnson, Obama and these people, then it was time actually to help me out. There was already a lot of shit on top of me, like sometimes I can, I don't know, 2001, 2002, um, I got a good news from Obama, who, with whom, by the way, already, it was like this, that he was a proven psychopathic liar, Obama. Where Obama, I resented him with what went on in Poland. He came up with a, such a stuff that... I, I explained already on my news site about what went on. I mean, I was tortured, drugged up, tortured, and... So fucking happy to hear that it were people that will be coming to inspect um human rights commission to ensure equal employment a kind of a equal employment alike opportunity equality to inspect what goes on in Poland it was Joe Biden who announced that shit uh just to see Obama basically coming uh and asking the people of colors which was a bunch of prejudice next to the white prejudice. I mean, what a beautiful mess. The stuff that you otherwise don't get to see in real life, it appears to me was all allowed in Poland. You could get away with anything you wanted in Poland. In Poland, it was everything, I think, honest. I think that people from both racial groups mixed uh, my MK Ultra case, me being completely drugged up and talking whatever I, I, I talked, whatever came across my mind, with fact that this shit went on in a foreign country, uh, with the fact that they were employed by someone hired by somewhere, probably Donald Trump, for some kind of show which never ever 
would come out ever to the surface nobody would ever find out about once and so i think that all the honesty all the frustrations all the shit that people carried on in the u.s surfaced out from all the backgrounds that all happened in porn and fucking exploded into uh, you know a little nuclear explosion of of all kinds of issues uh, and so it was a, it was it was like it, it, you know, right now when I'm analyzing this stuff kind of a funny actually to think about the life I have gone through in the US when I was like totally totally compliant with everything one can possibly be compliant with discriminated against but compliant to the last millimeter along others like on a, like completely life on a surface and beneath this surface a totally different you want to call this mk ultra world in which rights i had no fucking rights nothing whatsoever i was tortured but it was somebody that would come from my country the us to go and ensure a compliance of uh, almost uh, a kind of uh, equal employment equal equality issues i mean bizarre and it rated me as uh, no good and stuff like that that's 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 like beyond insane but that was mr obama that's another story so you know what goes around mr Roddick, it comes around uh and bison quite in the end like a baby too and just as I stated, I didn't even know what went on in that fight, and so on and so forth. What the only thing I'm gonna say to you, Lennox, when he would come to porn, he never got upset with me. He just said, uh, "Good job." He said, "Good job." He said, very calmly, he would say, "Good job, good job." He said to me, "Just keep sending them my way." He said the other week. He said the last week somebody, that guy also sat on his ass, something in that sense. But this shit is real. Okay, so that's all I wanted to say. He said, good job. He said, good job, just keep sending it my way. Oh, because he was making money, basically, that's all it is. But Lennox Lewis was cool. He was cool. He, he was like... Let me just cut here. He was a completely normal guy. He was a completely normal man totally normal did not have any kind of racial prejudice going on in his shit nothing I got to know Lennox Lewis before he moved to the Britain it was something like this that he said that I think that that now I'm gonna move to Britain or something but Lennox Lewis might have been very very early on very very early but not as early as Mike Tyson, I think. Or at least involved much less than Mike Tyson. Lennox Lewis, a secret, uh, a secret, because he was not as, um, you know, he's, he is, um, well, maybe if you would say he was boring good or something like that, but I think it was just, Mike Tyson is uh, uh, oh sure the way he conducted himself that uh, I, I don't know that maybe they paid more attention to and uh, strange shit this guy caused me so much harm and I kept uh, you know he kept bringing me back even that it was stuff that that I don't know how somebody could bring me back because he was br he he told me he was bringing me back because he wanted to destroy me he wanted to destroy me completely yeah? what well, Mike Tyson told me about that that he keep requesting to bring me back not to help me to help you out but to destroy you completely destroy you he did a good job with all kinds of setups with all kinds of crap on that MK Ultra that in real life this embarrassing issues 
he presented it actually did have an impact along so many other issues they they piled up against me you know this is this is a real MK Ultra account about the world of boxing The king of boxing definitely is Lennox Lewis. The king of boxing is a Lennox Lewis and not because only because he was the best ever inside of the boxing ring, but mm, even his style is so impeccable. It's, it's, he's just so um, not in rush. Uh, but when the time comes, he makes he made he always made clear that who the boss is, who was in charge of it, in a very very intelligent way. Just the same thing did in Poland. The same thing. He was just like this. Later, he said later. Later in Miami. And you would not know sitting next to him again all happy like crazy in Miami you couldn't even talk to me about something that happened over there or something this is this is I'm thinking I'm thinking about a lot of stuff uh, it was this man here too from uh, Kirka Pharmaceutical his father and him his father actually created a company and when they learned that I liked somebody they went as far as beating me up they would not allow me also to dress myself well to be presentable in front of people like this you have no idea what kind of uh, how improperly imagine to get beaten up before the meeting with 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 somebody very very important Imp imagine you get no chance to dress yourself to brush your teeth to prepare yourself to look sharp <sighs> and then you go to the real life and this kind of issues about this here what went on don't trigger in the u.s but it was many other similar alike issues and all this upside down world it actually does have a tremendous impact on real life you know, regardless of how much you're capable to ignore and just move on with life and move on no matter what eventually eventually it does have it does have because I was not experienced, you know. I didn't have experience. I didn't know. I don't know how it all functions. But if you do find yourself in a similar way, you just remember sleep, good eat. That means sleep is the main thing with the locked door, secured door, doors, so you don't. You don't continue to walk. This morning I was, I said to myself, I heard the little dog as I was walking, uh, you know, barking, whoa, 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 whoa. I had a dog like this too, a little girl dog. And this dog, I was sure that this girl dog is gonna alert me, you know, if somebody's gonna come. He is gonna alert me. And I always thought he's gonna alert me. This dog never alerted me. And this morning when I, walked this was also from my wife's dog you know? uh, ex-wife I remind myself of uh, words of American psychologist he told me <coughs> <coughs> he told me hey, another guy who was involved in this hijackings from Miami um it was done in such a way for me to understand and the guy did come in front of me and the dog was all crazy about him you know my little girl dog was all crazy about him so what i'm trying to say to you is it's like this american psychologist uh 
it, this really didn't work because um, you know you would yeah it, it worked in a way that, that I didn't pay attention to that otherwise I would maybe I don't know they give you all the answers or something like that and then it's actually you don't even bother you become even more stupid maybe or something definitely something like this and you reject the stuff otherwise you should what was this done like deliberately uh, or they have anticipated different results I don't know every human mind has a different response people from different places different uh, thinking patterns whatever um, I sighed it's when he realized yeah, and I'm thinking right now I'm seeing my little dog how he was jumping on this guy and this stranger in real life but individual present in MK Ultra would come with other friends to pick me up uh, and he was thinking how unusual it is uh, when he sees dog embracing uh, somebody unusually a stranger like this you know just you know that uh, dogs are at home alone and uh, if you have God forbid spouse like mine was uh, then you know dog might actually not even alert you when that guy comes to pick you up so good night sleep that's when you are safe you know with doors well properly secured that sounds better than luck okay so thanks for watching this video today is august the 14th thousand Okay, uh, I know I'm not using a proper language, I did not use the proper language in this video, I apologize and apologize not for that matter. Um, the point here is, why like this? It's deliberately done like this. It's not that I would um, miscalculate anything or something like that, as per using language. No, 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 it's literally like this. You see, because I categorized, I categorized all the issues in different groups. When, you know, dealing with the females, when dealing with the people from world of boxing, with rough people and with less rough people, and with the different cultures and the different continents and with different unusual situations, uh, I tend to categorize that and I, and I feel that when it comes to this world of boxing okay this is also important this end of this video for me, this way. when it comes to the world of boxing this latest didn't like this even a little bit because it was a completely different Bob uh, it was a completely different Sebastian it was a completely different me it was totally different it was something that they were not used to now, Jennifer Aniston, somebody from Hollywood, let's say, uh, they were not happy about this at all. This was crazy shit, man. Uh, boxing, you know, whoa, 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 you know, going and doing this kind of stuff, crazy, beyond crazy stuff that people in Hollywood, uh, they got horrified, man. A lot of people got horrified. It was you know, This is a rough world. A crazy world the world of uh, huh. now I know at least of uh, the Louis Don King too me being dropped up and crazier than Don King kind of world a rough a really really rough world that people would end up with 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 pain uh, and injuries and all kinds of stuff like this and using a bad language skills and stuff like this it was definitely not approved by few females um, so sorry about that uh, and then again sorry not okay uh, it's just a testimony for this world of boxing that I can describe to my best 
possible. And to get to this kind of stuff, it's actually quite extraordinary. Andrzej Dula Moraviecki right now, the people in Poland, they're not happy with this at all. Because this is the stuff they told me, if you're going to talk about, then you're going to... Fortunately, I got to use that bad word. Fuck us all. Again, have to use it. Okay, so it's deliberately like this. Sorry and sorry not. <laughs> 